Merry Drinkmas, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> so today we are making drinks inspired by our favorite Disney characters. Mm -hmm. Esmeralda asked if we would join them in a collab, and I yeah. said, of course, because yes. who you doesn't like, to, like drink. to drink? <laughs> <laughs> so it's inspired by our favorite Disney character, our favorite mm -hmm. drink at Disney, or yeah. anything that makes us happy. Yeah. and. We love the drinks at Epcot, so Larry's gonna yep. share his favorite drink. Yeah. If you've watched our vlogs, you know which drink he loves. Yes. You've seen plenty of pictures with him. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> with the drink, yeah. and um, for my drink, it's a first time trying a drink at mm -hmm. Epcot, and right. I love it. Yeah, that's good, that's good. <laughs> but we'll save that for later, but my, mm -hmm drink that I prefer that I really like is the Violet Sake from the Garden House in the Japan right. Pavilion. You can also get it at Disney Springs. Right. At the Yasaki booth, mm -hmm. I think is what it's called. Yeah. Is yeah. it the same price? Do you remember? Um, it seems like it was a different price, but I can't remember okay. which one was more expensive, but it does seem like does it, it was different. Does it taste the same? It did taste the same. Okay. Yeah. It was so, good. two spots you can two get. Two spots, yeah. And he did. I did. I did. <laughs> I did. So, Really easy drink to make, um, basically three ingredients. Um, first one, of course, is sake. Clear okay. sake. Clear sake, yep. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Monin Desert Pear Syrup, which I got on Amazon. Actually, I mm -hmm. couldn't find it anywhere locally. Um, and then Rose's Sweetened uh, Lime Juice, which I just found at our grocery store. And you can use fresh lime juice, right? You could use fresh lime juice if you wanted to squeeze your own um, right. limes, um, of course. Um, but I find this just a little easier for me. So, right. Yeah. <laughs> so we get right to the drinking. All right. So all we need to do here is have a little shaker. Okay, got a little metal shaker. Just going to fill this with ice. And I am going to add, and this, of course, is on a park accurate. Um, recipe, of course, this is something I just kind of, you know, found or looked around and tried different things. So roughly three ounces of sake. Pouring it in here. Right there. And let us know down in the comments if you guys have tried this drink before. I don't like sake, so it's not mm -hmm. for me. But Larry loves it. I do. And then one ounce of the syrup. Right there. And then about a half an ounce of the lime juice. Right there. And then in your little shaker here. And I will fill this up with ice. And then pour. Yummy. And <laughs> well, there you go. Is it good? Yeah. Take really your good. word for it. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> so my drink that I absolutely love was the frozen hot chocolate martini. Um, I'll, I'll put a picture up here. I took a picture when I was in Epcot. And it was so good. It has vanilla vodka in it, chocolate milk, and whipped cream. Basically frozen. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. super easy to make. Yeah. But I have not made it. Larry made it for me. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to let him tell you about it. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> so um, that's, it's a frozen drink, kind of a slushy drink. So, right. we're gonna have so we to have need a, ice. Yeah, we're going to have to have a blender or some How much sort ice of, do we need? Um, I don't know, probably like roughly two cups. Two something cups. Something like that, okay. roughly. So according to the ingredients, um, from the Disney, it says vanilla vodka, um, chocolate milk, and it has whipped cream on it. So again, this is just our little spin on on that recipe. I think that's enough. I think that's probably good. Okay, it's getting down there on the face. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we have um, vanilla vodka. Right here. Gonna do roughly. Three ounces of vanilla vodka. There. And I guess we have chocolate milk. And yummy. Probably about 
Again, the probably chocolate, about, the more chocolate, the better. Yeah, so probably about six ounces of chocolate milk. Right, and we do have the chocolate syrups. Six of those? Six ounces. Okay. Like that. And to give it a little more chocolate flavor, we about added, added about a tablespoon of chocolate syrup. That's about a tablespoon. Yeah, roughly. <laughs> I mean, again, you know, this is a drink recipe. You can always mess around with the ratio, right. uh, sweeter, stronger, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. So we have stronger. it all here. <laughs> so we're gonna blend it up yep. in our Nutri Blender. Okay. So it just blend it up till it's nice and blended, so there's no chunks in it. Take it off there. Uh, there we go. Can, uh, is that? Um, chocolatey enough? Well, I don't know. You tell me. This is your drink. Hold on. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> so just kind of pour it into your glass, whatever shape of glass you would prefer. I didn't have the plastic martini glass, dang it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it, um, in the recipe it said Grey Goose vanilla vodka, mm -hmm. but I couldn't find any, so I just got the Smirnoff. And then, of course, they had whipped cream, so I'm gonna put a little whipped cream, whip cream on there. On there. And you want a straw? Um, sure. And then a straw. Look there we that. go. And look at your drink. And there's mine. <laughs> right there. All right. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm hmm. Mmm. That's really good. All right? Okay. I could drink a lot of these. Okay, right? <laughs> So again, this is our spin on the drinks from Epcot. Yes. The violet sake from the Japan Pavilion. And the frozen hot chocolate yeah, martini. From France. It's wonderful. Yeah, very good. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed it. Yes. Again. All right. Cheers. Cheers. See you guys next time.